Hello and welcome back to another episode of Real Mist Masterpiece Edition. We are still up here in that tree house with the weird... Whatever this is. With this thing, I've switched back to the free roam mode. I don't know. I feel like I'm faster with it. I could maybe move, move up the move speed in the point and click mode, but I don't know. Also, I'm pretty sure we're done here. At least it very much feels like we are. So we should probably just return to the, the island and see, see what we need to do there. Uh, maybe, maybe, yeah, I don't know. Maybe the pages we have actually make sense. There. He just feels feels faster. I'm not sure if it actually is. It feels much faster though. It's also very dark right now, but I guess the moon is about to. I can't tell if it's setting or <laughs> or not. That's a pretty nice view though. Need some more screenshots. Have neglected doing that for thumbnail purposes. I don't really re remember which way to go. I think somewhere over here. Is that right? Across the bridge and then up? Yeah, that feels right. Then we use the linking book to go back to, to, the, to the island, the start island, and then. Maybe check out a different age. Oh, this is not powered, right? I forgot. I forgot about that part. Right, right, right. This has a telescope thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to... How many do we need to switch? I don't even remember. Kind of annoying if we have to do it, but <laughs> it's fine. Where is it actually? Is it switched all the way at the beginning? It probably is, right? Lots of walking for nothing. <laughs> Just because I forgot. Alright, this one and then... I think right is fine, but then here maybe? Oh no, no, here. I was right actually. And then here, this way. That should do it, I think. And yeah, I mean, okay, so this, in this age, I don't think there's much left for us to do. There is that, yeah, the weird machine thing, the bear trap, as I called it before. Uh, and I don't know what to do with that. But other than that, I don't really know what else I could be doing here. So I think we've completed this age for the most part. Just need to figure out what to do with the pages. Two pages that we picked up. Now we go back to Mist Island. All right, great. Also, who am I actually? Am I? I'm just some random guy, right? I fell through a fissure in the beginning, and that's it. That's how I got here. I picked up the book, and now I'm here. Oh wait, are these like? Yes. Return. Must continue. My name is Sirius. 
Okay. I beg you, beg fine. To remain. You must remain. So I guess I never really watched all of that. That could have been... <laughs> I would skip these. So I don't have the blue page now. So I, I guess I can only bring back one page. Is that how this works? These are Cirrus, Cirrus? I don't know, I still don't know how, I, he said his name himself and I forgot how he said it, Cirrus? Cirrus and Aknar, I guess, and they want me to bring them the pages because they're trapped in the books. And piecing that together with the message from, what's his name, Atras. about like their sons having done something, or one of their sons. I think it's a, it, he said something like he it's one of our sons or something. They did something and he imprisoned them, I guess, in those books. And the pages are missing, so they can't get out. Is that how this works? And I'm bringing back the pages, I guess. So he brought a red one back. So the next one we should probably bring a blue one back because I don't really know who to trust. That sounds fine by me. Alright, which age do we do next? Uh, so we've done Chandlewood. Do we do the stone ship next? I guess we just go in order of the books. Emmet was the first to live on the rocks. He named them the rocks because that is what they were. A group of sharp rocks clustered together in the middle of a large sea. This was where Emmet lived. He enjoyed his life. Emmet would occasionally swim to nearby rocks as it was never too far of a distance. One day another person appeared on the rocks for no apparent reason to Emmet. Emmet named this new person Branch. Emmet and Branch quickly became friends, swimming and hunting for fish together often. Emmet showed Branch a simple cave in which he lived on the largest rock. Soon Branch discovered a place where he decided to live, also on the same large rock. The sun always shone brightly in their world, and the water was always dazzling. Dazzlingly clear, allowing him to see almost to the deep ocean floor which surrounded them. But the sun always shone, it was never too hot for the boys. A light breeze always came from the north and cooled the area down. One day, while Branch was swimming and having fun in the water, he noticed another boy swimming. Branch brought the new boy to Emmett to find out what to call a new boy. Emmett said the boy should be called Will Will. Will. <laughs> That's a. I guess there's a period here, it doesn't look like there is. I thought it was or whatever. Will was soon a part of the group, and all three of the boys swam and enjoyed a perfect world. 
I think Will Will would be a better name. <laughs> at least that is the story I was told when I arrived today on the island. Emmett, Branch and Will were surprised to see me at first, but even before the night ended, we were all becoming good friends. Today, the second day on this newly created age, a strange thing happened. It was not strange to me, but the three boys did not understand what was happening. While I was relaxing under a large tree on one of the smaller rock islands, it began to rain. It was a nice rain that lasted for about an hour in the morning. I explained to the boys that the rain was not harmful, yet they obviously still feared it. Before going to sleep tonight, I told the boys I would leave the following day. I told them that while I was gone, I would make a surprising change in their world. They didn't understand, not that I expected them to. I still do not fully understand what happened today. I was experimenting with the, with the art, testing the limits of the rules as dictated to me by father. I attempted to create a boat by riding it into the world. I thought everything was planned correctly, yet somehow the boat had become gripped by the rock and broken in half. Although this test did not turn out as I had hoped, I now have answers to a few of the questions my father never answered. As for the boat, I can see the boys enjoy it anyway, and with that I am pleased. They have played on it all day. Even though the boat cannot move, I have enjoyed studying from it. It is a much sturdier platform than the jagged rocks. In the course of my observations, I have learned some very interesting things regarding the solar system of this age. Uh, submersible lamp. Interesting. The nights are absolutely beautiful here. I have made note of and named a number of constellations that pass above, above me. Above me, also during the night, I catch glimpses of light from the horizon, which I have not been able to discover if it is created by some natural phenomenon or by additional people on far off islands or rocks. I could very much like to discover which. I rather suspect it is additional people, which would explain the appearance of Branch and Will. The rain today was slightly heavier than usual. Just when the boys were getting used to the light rains, a small storm arrived. They were frightened of the heavier rain, not to mention the thunder and lightning. If rain has never fallen here until recently, as the boys tell me, I would like to discover why it is falling now. Regardless, I have decided to return home for a short while. I've also been thinking of some plans for a lighthouse that I hope to construct soon. I think that perhaps by shining a bright light toward the, the horizon, I might prove it might prove my suspicions regarding additional inhabitants. They would be curious about the light and travel to discover its source, if they have the means. I returned with many tools that I will need for construction of the lighthouse. I have decided that once the lighthouse is completed, I will leave for some time and let the world's own imagination have control. We have worked three weeks on the lighthouse now and are making great progress. The rock that we are building on seems to not be as secure as I would like. I've had to alter my plan slightly, but those alterations pose no real problem. The boys are quite strong and have been helping me immensely. I estimate construction will be done within two days. The lighthouse is finished and we are all proud of our creation. The boys are amazed at the structure brought from the rock with their own hands. That evening we powered up the generator, much of the boys dread at first, and shined a great light to the horizon for many hours. I stayed the night in the top of the lighthouse. In the morning awoke to observe the sunrise without my being coated with the chilly blanket of ocean dew I had become accustomed to. It was Will who first saw the girl. She was swimming not far from the boat where Will was getting ready to hunt for fish. Then Will noticed a man not far away from the girl. Emmett was very pleased to meet the additional neighbors. I feel pleased to leave this age. I have set in motion events that have nothing to do with writing or the art that will have a more po profound impact on this world than I could have ever written. I think. This is the stone ship H. The ship being broken apart by, apart by rock. Uh, I guess this is the lighthouse maybe? How many more pages? Not many. Or I think of this age as a gift to myself that I will wrap up and open something in the future only to discover that it has changed so much that indeed it is a surprise. Besides, I have yet a Another new age awaits me. It seems I'm going to need some way to travel underwater in this new age, and so much planning is in order. It has been ten years since I left this age, which I have since called the Stone Ship Age. Upon returning, I cannot believe the changes that have taken place. The original three boys have grown into adults, and, are, and there are many new faces that I do not recognize. Branch told me that it has not rained for seven years, and the cool breezes are back again. 
they are very content and have been serving me with new foods and showing me new materials they have discovered. It even seems they have found gold somewhere. I see it in many forms around the island. My lighthouse has been kept in perfect condition and it looks as if they have tried their very best to keep it so. I have noted that the entire rock it was built on has sunk approximately 40 or 50 centimeters. After a wonderful visit with my old friends, I wonder aloud with them what things will be like here in another 10 years. Then we have all the constellations. And that is that. And now we go there. Which I think was the actual ship for sure. Looks like it's actually raining there now. So. I guess it started raining again. Okay, lots of things. This is the boat, the ship. Can't get down there. Let's check the lighthouse, I guess. It seems like it sunk quite a bit more, maybe. Interesting. Because that is not... That chain is very short. <laughs> How? How? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out, I guess. Let's check over here. Uh, the umbrella. No idea what this is doing. Sounds like it's pumping something, but... Yeah, I don't know. This is probably where the generators are, I would assume, on the ground, right? It's not the generator room. It's a very nice bedroom. The fact that it can move this means it's probably a puzzle. <laughs> but I don't know how. Oh, the red bait. Uh, we want a blue bait too, if you can. It looks like you can open that. But I don't know how. just like decoration because <laughs> that doesn't feel like it can be a puzzle who knows so we have the red page red page goes to Cirrus right uh, but we want the yeah we want the other brother I believe just because I want more more story 
But we can't leave anyway yet because we haven't found the linking book yet. So we're just gonna have to explore anyway. It feels like this one was too easy to get though. Wasn't even a puzzle here. Does this just go to another bedroom or does this go to the generators? Same kind of door. Different kind of room, but also bedroom. And there's the blue page, okay. Marker switch, okay. The vault is located the island of achieved very easily. Instructions are for I don't know. Each of the marker turn everyone on position. Final step turn. Okay, we had the first part of that note in the first in, in Channel Wood. Oh, well the second part technically, reading from left to right. There's something with the marker switches. If we turn everyone to the on position, maybe, then maybe something happens. But there's not another step to it. We need to. I need to piece them together, I guess. I should have taken a screenshot. I don't think I did. But I have I have it recorded on video, <laughs> fortunately, so it should all be good. It's a poison here. Yeah, this doesn't seem like the room of a stable guy, does it? The scar. Poison, a rip cage here. Actually, I don't really want to find out whose rip cage that is. Yeah, now I have the blue page. So the blue guy definitely seems crazy. Akinar, I guess. But I don't know if I can trust Cyrus. Uh, he doesn't strike me as very trustworthy either. Who knows? And where's everyone else? Where's Catherine? Where's uh, Atros? Where, where did they go? Did they die? And where are the people here? Where's, where's Branch and stuff? Where are they? Emmett, Branch, Will? Hundred thirty five for the lighthouse. Not sure if that's what I'm looking for here. Hundred eighty five for whatever this is. Was the, the ship okay? Okay, so have these three buttons, I guess uh, the gold chain and the lighthouse, the the viewing thing here with the 135, 185 being maybe significant, maybe not. Who knows? Not sure what we are supposed to do with that. There's definitely nothing I can do here, right? How could that ever be a thing? No clue. Let's investigate these buttons once more.
I don't really see what it's actually doing. Or like, what is it related to? It's not like I can have two on at the same time, it's always just one. And it also, yeah, it runs for a bit and it peters out and stops. So what's the what's the thing? What is it what is it what is it doing? Let me try a different control scheme for a second. Can't be there or there or there, so there's nothing significant here. Good to know. the flashlight like this? I can. Ooh, that's neat. Let's back out. We don't want to do that. Down we go, I guess. And nothing here, really. Interesting, but maybe then like a higher water lever actually allows me to do the gold chain bit in the, in the lighthouse. There's just nothing here. That feels so wrong. Can't find anything though. So back up we go. Actually, is it lower now? Maybe lower is good here too. Maybe there's something below because there was a staircase. No. Okay. Let's do this real quick, even though the episode is long enough. I want to check. So if one is the lowest, then three should be the highest lever. Maybe. Maybe need the middle lever though, who knows. Oh, actually, that's just three, just pumps this out. Okay. Now we can go down. Which helps us because there's a chest here. And in the chest, there is. Who knows? Water. I guess. runs into the drain here. Let's actually turn off the flashlight. It's too bright. <laughs> okay. So I can't reach that, or, well, I can reach the, the key, but I can't reach anything with the key. 
All right, so middle lever. We, tr we try middle lever and see. It feels like that's not going to do anything, though. Or maybe it's not the middle lever, it's the middle setting, I should say, because I don't know. Seems like that's the same. And this one... Oh, it brings up the chest. Because we let the water out and then it floats. Very smart. And that's the extra key that we need. And now we have... A crank? Alright, yeah, we're loading the batteries. Bar is moving up on the right. And then? What's the next step to this puzzle then? Can't look up. Well, the only other thing is the looking glass telescope thing. So maybe we check on that. If that's not it, then we'll just end the episode <laughs> and deal with it next time. So it is flashing now. But why... Why is that important? Or is that important? Honestly, don't know. Unless we have to go back down there, because there hasn't been anything useful down there before. <laughs> Let's extend this episode even longer. Why not? It just doesn't feel like a good spot to end it. Like in the middle of this. Yeah, this is the only place where there hasn't been anything useful yet. It's still just very dark, though. Giant thing swimming. Is it a turtle? I don't know. There's something. There's something there too. But how does that R help me? It feels like I'm missing the book here. Like the book should be here. <laughs> That's what it feels like. thing here the thing here don't really see one here I don't know what I'm supposed to do in here has to be something right I can't interact with anything strange right 
Ah, well, looks like we might just have to end it anyway. Oh, this is flooded now. Oh, so if this is not flooded, then the other thing is kicked outside the window. Hate when that happens. I can't walk up to this. Why? I don't know. It still very much feels like we haven't really done what we're supposed to be doing here. This looks like... No, it's not a box. There's not one that we can open. I'm confused by this. So in the two state, is this flooded? No. But there wasn't any water down here, right? Oh, but there's something. I did not see that the first time around. Maybe that wasn't on yet. Yeah, this is what we're seeing, I think. These weird little... Don't know what I did. Everything turned black. <laughs> that can't be a good sign. Is this right? No, this is the other tunnel now. Why? 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 <laughs> I'm so confused. I should end the episode here. I really should. Do, do we do it now? I guess we kind of have to at some point. Let's do it here. We'll mess, mess, mess around with this in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.